Hey guys, this is going to be my fourth injection of testosterone today. I have all of my supplies here in my medicine bag. I'm going to just set this down over here, a little bit shaky, sorry. But what's cool about this is that this is my second time injecting it myself. Uh, I just thought this would be interesting for people to see because I have the courage to stab myself apparently. Uh, uh, what is it? My eighth week on testosterone. So, I think that's how it works, right? This is my, yeah, it's my fourth shot. It's eight weeks. Okay. <laughs> I had to do math real fast. Um, so, what I'm going to be using is isopropyl alcohol. This is, you know, a general cleaning antiseptic. Pretty much, this is one of the methods of injecting testosterone. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my isopropyl alcohol and I'm going to swab the top of it just to make sure it's clean because, you know, I handle it, I let my friends look at it and go, hey, wow, cool, you shove this into your body, I'm so impressed. So, we'll swabity swab, just clean that up because we're going to be putting our needle through it in a little bit. These are my needles, it's a 3 milliliter, 22 gauge, about one. So it's going to be right to that line. Hey, good looking. One thing is you don't want to throw away your, you know, your syringes and your needles into the garbage, just, oh, hey. What you want to do is you want to fill it, if you don't have a, uh, <clears throat> a uh, hospital donation site where you can just throw away your sharps, you can always disassemble them and put them in an old laundry detergent thing. And then I'm going to get my band-aid set up. Uh, how about a green one? Who cares? I got Pup Patrol too because I'm a child, so you're just going <clears> to <throat> pop it off. Look at that sucker. It's huge. You're going to carefully insert it into the top like that. In this little window, you can kind of see if your needle is even in the liquid or not. And it's really thick, so it doesn't want to go in. You never want to inject air into yourself. For the love of God, don't do it. It's bad. I still got a way to go. So I overdrew a little bit, just so that I can push the bubbles out, and so have I enough for myself. So, you've seen this in the movies, you just, and I got my dose all set. So we're just going to set that down for now. So we're going to pick our site. I've been injecting mostly into this side, mainly because you can see I got really thick thighs. Get your cotton swab. It's kind of clean the whole area. Sorry, I'm not really much for banter and just random talk. Try to just slightly psych myself up and also, you know, try to be a little bit informative. It's like, whoa, what's going on? So you're going to take off the cap, squeeze the area you're about to inject, and then just... But you want to get it about halfway through, that way you're actually in the skin and in the muscle. And it's in! You want to do a blood test to make sure you're not in a vein. Nope. So then you slowly push it in. And you want to make sure all of it goes in. Like, you don't want any leftovers. So just push the plunger and pull it up. And we're done. It's just like, you know, getting a normal shot in your arm where it's going to hurt a little bit. Or if you're like me and you get it your first time and your nurse puts it in your butt, then that's there. There's that too. So I hope you guys liked seeing my boxers. That's fun. Uh, I have a GoFundMe up for top surgery right now, and I'm currently fully cleared for top surgery by my physician and my therapist. All I need to do is just set up an appointment, a surgery date, and then I have to just pay for it. So that's, you know, it's a work in progress. Uh, currently, I'm working my part-time job. I also do artwork on the side. So, we're getting there. Pretty slow. The surgeon I chose is Dr. Garamoni in Florida. Yeah, it's a bit of a hike. I know there's a couple surgeons that are closer to home, but the results from Garamoni are a little bit better and more of what I was looking for, especially for someone with my body type. And so far, so good. Eight weeks in, four shots. If you guys have any questions about injections, testosterone stuff in general just leave them in the comments below don't forget to subscribe or do whatever I mean if you want to see more of this stuff 
feel free. But, yeah. See you next time.